everybody my name is Kendra and today I'm going to be starting off part of this new year by adding more content on my channel and one of the types of videos that I think is interesting and that I think it would be pretty fun to do and to include on my channel is I want to do more everyday makeup uh, videos slash shop my stash videos so this is what this video is going to be today it is going to be for the month of january i'm going to do mine month by month and my goal is that i will be able to really use up a lot of my makeup that i have and hopefully like hit pan on a lot of them i've considered project pan but we will see how this goes so without further ado we're just going to get right into this video i don't want it to be very long so that's all um if you like these kinds of videos leave a like and i would hope you would consider subscribing to my channel i love to have you as my family and i'll list my social media accounts down below and let's go ahead and get started this drawer here we won't be going through because this one just has miscellaneous items um and stuff that I want to include in my giveaway. Um, so that's what this first drawer is. Just random stuff and then like stuff I want to put in the... When um, I reach 200 subscribers, I'm going to do like a giveaway so I have it in this drawer here. So we will start by going into the second drawer here. And I'm going to try and like lower you in there. So this is where I have like primers and I have some sprays foundations I have like one powder um just like a bunch of miscellaneous items in here I know I need to get like organizers in here uh that's what I want to work on soon but just bear with me for now so primers I want to try this little sample that I got for um eye primer I'm choosing this urban decay primer potion I've heard everybody talk about this and I was wanting to try it I saw this listed on Sephora, like the list of offers, like if you type in the code at checkout, then they include this as a free sample. And I also, I always like to do that, to look at their uh, promotions that they have, and just pick which one I want. And then when I go into the basket, I also get like two free samples, and that way I get a couple things to try out. So if you weren't aware of that, yeah, that's just like a suggestion I had to do, so... Just make sure you check, like, in the sale section it should be. I believe is where it's at. Don't quote me on that, though. But, yeah, I got this in the sample. I see everybody talking about it. So this is what I am going to use for my um, eye primer um, for the month of January. For face primer, I have quite a bit, actually. I know I have, and I think I have it up there on my dresser, do I? My vanity? Yeah. I'll pick two. Did I pick two of them? I might go with two. I might use two. Um, since it's winter, I want something that's like hydrating uh, to put on. So for the first primer, I'm going to use the Professional Hydrating Primer from Benefit. And I want to test this one out. I tried the other one. I think it was like a pore filling one. I'll insert the picture like on the screen here. But I didn't like that one. But I never tried this. I got this in my BoxyCharm. I think it was in April. Haven't tried it yet. And I want to try it. And I think it would be really great for winter. Since in the winter time your skin needs more moisture. At least mine anyway. Because mine gets really dry in the winter. So, I'm hoping that this will work well for the winter season here. So, this is the primer that I'm going to use for winter. And I want one more primer to use. I want to try one of my like little baby samples I have. Um, I actually want to try... I got this in a palette that I got on Mercari. The lady gave me like a free sample with it. 
because it was like I told her it was like a, my, my birthday and the palette that I got was like a birthday present to myself and she sent me this primer I didn't know what she was gonna send she just told me she'd send me something extra and she sent this Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer with coconut water probiotic based ingredient and skin revivers it says it's supposed to be silicone free and proactive and nourishing and I've always wanted to try this because I've seen people that really like it and I always wanted to see what the, like the hype is about so I'm glad I have this and I'm going to use this as my second primer to try and see if I can get some good use out of these two here yeah so these two primers here are what I'm going to use I only have one powder and it's this like Ciate London Everyday Coconut Setting Powder I got in like a boxy charm. It's like the only powder I have. And I have like a good decent amount left. And I'd like to actually finish this up because when I finish this up I would like to try the Huda Beauty Powder because I've heard really good things about it. But I want to use this one up first before I do that because I don't want to have too many powders in here. For foundation, let's see, foundation, mm. I really want to use my Anastasia one, I really like this foundation, the Anastasia, it's just called Luminous Foundation, here's the bottle here, and I think this part's cool, you know, it's like, wow, all it says is foundation, but I just like how the font is like, done like that. It looks, it looks so cool. And I'm in the shade 160C in case you were curious. And this cream, this Kosas. I want to try this Kosas. What is it? Eighth Muse Color in Light Cream. It's the high intensity. And it is uh, blush and a highlighter. I saw Jessica Braun talk about this. Now I'm hoping this is the right one that she was talking about, but she really loves this stuff and I wanted to try to see what it was like and I never tried cream uh, highlighter. Wait, or did I? No, that's stick highlighter. Yeah, I never tried cream highlighter and I've never tried a cream blush. Wait a minute. I think I did try cream highlighter. I think it was Natasha Denona, but I never did try cream blush. So I want to try this and see what it's like. I also want to use this for an upcoming video sometime here soon. Once I get all the products I need for it. But this will be one of the products I want to use. Um, There's so many random things in here. But I really want to use this Anastasia one. But maybe I'll use this Lancome one. I think this one is like Lancome's newest mascara. From what I've seen on Ulta. And I got this, like, for free for my birthday. This was, like, part of my birthday part. Uh, oh, let me see if you can see it. There we go. Yeah. I can never see that. Idly. Something like that. Mascara. I'll try this out. See if I can use this one up. And if I use the other one up, then I'll use this Anastasia Beverly Hills Mascara. Um, it's their Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara. But I'll use this one, the first, the Lancome one first, and then if I use that up, then I'll start using this one. Seems like it'd be fair. Alright, so we got my mascara down. I would like to do a cream, like a little single shadow, I mean, but I don't want to do ColourPop. I want to try this liquid eyeshadow I got from Kylie Cosmetics. I believe it's in the shade Fawn Wine. I've never used it yet. So I want to try and use this, and I think this would be a really great shade for the winter months. Um, the pink ones were so kind of like springy and summery to me, so. Am I done with this drawer? Yeah, I think I'm done with this drawer. Wait, is there any lipsticks I want to try? <sighs> Sweater weather. Let's see, what's this one in? Autumn. Dirty Peach, eh. Oh, Snow Way Bay. 
I might go Snowway Bay and Sweater Weather from Kylie Cosmetics. It's her matte liquid lipstick. It's these here. If my camera will focus on them. Right here. These two colors here. I think I have the lip liners for those two. I got this here. Alright, I think we're pretty much done with this. Drawer here. I got some products here. So, this is my eyeshadow drawer here. Which I might need to move back a little bit so you can see. Some palettes aren't in here. Take this makeup bag out of here. But some palettes aren't in here because I have them where my vanity is, like on the second shelf. Because for those ones, I gotta do videos on them. I have four palettes there that I have sat to do like tutorials with. And I still have two. Is it two or three? I think I have three others that I need to do videos on to unbox them. And if I have already done that, I'll link them up above and down below in the description. If, just in case you want to check that out. But these are like whatever else I have. And once I do the videos with the palettes that I was mentioning that I want to do tutorials on. And then the ones I have for the unboxing. They will go back in here and then like another, like maybe and then like February you'll... You'll see them in here. But we're just going to go focus on this drawer because these aren't being used right now. I got a couple new ones. I got this Amrezy palette. And I want to use it because it's brand new and I just got it. And this is what the colors look like. I gave my brush to my sister because I don't like their brushes. But this is absolutely gorgeous. And I want to play with it like right away. So this is one palette. I'm probably going to pick a bunch. Because I really want to try a lot of my palettes here. And I just got. The Sultry palette. And I just got the Sultry palette too. And I also took the brush out of here. And gave it to my sister. Because as I said before. I don't like their brushes. This is a beautiful palette. Especially for the winter months. And I can't wait to play with this one. Alright, so there's two ABH ones. I don't want to go overboard. Uh, and I haven't played with my pumpkin spice one yet. I actually should put that in the thing to make a video on this. And I probably will do that for this. I still need to make a video using it, but... This will be included in my palette section. I want to play with that. That's actually on sale. Um, I think it's on sale at Ulta and Sephora. Or it's at one of those places. I don't know. Uh, I want to play with my... I got this for Christmas. So I gave the one I got from Influencer to my sister and then I kept the one I got for Christmas but it's the ultraviolet um, palette from Urban Decay I have it in the box so this is like newish because I just got this for Christmas so it hasn't been touched yet and I want to use this and I've been meaning to use this in the first place but it's just like pretty purple palette and it still has the brush in there I gave her, my sister, the brush in the other palette. But I want to give this another go here. It's really per pretty. I just wish they could have done a little bit more with that, but really pretty. Let's see what I can come up with here. So I got four palettes. Uh, this is another new one that I got. I used it with like my Sephora gift card I got last year for Christmas. It's the Huda Beauty Nude Rich. And I want to I really think these colors are gorgeous. I had a hard time like deciding which one of them I wanted first. They're also pretty, but this one caught my eye the most. So this is which one I have. So I want to use this one. One of on my I gotta pick one more palette. So what will it be? What will it be? I think I will try and give this tart one. I tried to use it before and I didn't like the way I looked in it. But I'll try and like use this tart palette. I got it in a boxy charm. Woo! Try. Mirror is really nice though. But I'll try and play around with this. This seems like it'd be pretty uh, winter appropriate. Well, fall and winter appropriate. 
but uh, I want to try and use it see what I come up with. Because they are really pretty, which is sometimes like, I just didn't like how, what shades did I use the last time? I think I used, I used these two, I think, and I didn't like how I looked in them. But I'll see, I want to play around with this, and I think that's the last palette I'm picking here. I got all my other stuff over here. I'll just bring them over so I'm not like standing. And we can. Okay, hold well, on. Let's lay them on top of here. How about it? Something like that, right? So I guess we can go because I don't own many lip liners. So what I think I'll do is. Here's Sweater Weather that I have the lip liner. I might go with Sweater Weather and then this one I got from. Bo uh, Boxy Charm, it's the Bodography, yeah, Bodyography lip pencil in rosewood. And ugh, it just looks like you do a little swatch here of both of them so you could see what they look like. This is the Bodyography one. Let me zoom you in a little bit so you can see my hand. Uh, the Bodyography one, and then this is Sweater Weather. So rosewood and swather weather. And we'll go through my eyeliners. Uh, I want to use one that I already had open before. Um. I'm well convinced that this next one's almost gone. Uh, Alama squaw. Alright, I'm going to use this Kat Von D tattoo liner for my liquid liner and I'll pick another liquid liner in case I use this up but so far I really like it. It has a nice little point right there. Nice point. Um, oops, wrong way. And I guess I'll pick another liquid liner. Alright, so I have the Carity liner here. It says it's Millennial Ink Liquid Eyeliner. But yeah, this Carity um, Millennial Ink Liquid Eyeliner I will use if I um, run out of the Cat Phone D one. And, yep, there's two liquid ones. Let's see if I can move this here. Alright, just something like that. Let's see. I know this is weird, weird setup. Uh, I was trying to do it so I'm like I'm not standing while I'm filming like because this is on my table and after a while standing like my body like really hurts like I have to sit in a certain period of time but this one pencil here from Pixie it's in matte mulberry I want to use this one it's like a brown color and I've used it before. It is very pretty. Especially if you stick it underneath your lash line. Gorgeous. So I have a brown one. And this is the hot tail one. The one can go back in. The, uh, the eyeliners. And I guess I'll try and use this Profusion one. It is... A black liner. It's in the shade Onyx. I hope I'm saying that right. But it's this black one here. And so far, I'm not really keen on this eyeliner from Perfusion, but I do want to use it up. But it's not one that I would want to go and get again, like the Milani one, which I have done. So this eye primer can go in the drawer. My Tarte one, I'm so convinced that I've used that up. But this one here is going to stay. This Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara. I use this specifically for my lower lashes because this mascara isn't very good at using for the upper lashes. So I only use it for the bottom lashes because I like how it looks on the bottom. So that's why this third mascara is going to be in here because that's for my lower lashes. I'm going to keep this clear brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's just a clear brow gel and put this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. It's the triangle brow pencil. Medium brown is my shade. 
So this will be my brow pencil that I use if I decide to want to use a brow pencil right here. I'll take this ColourPop one out. Um, I want to use this Catrice spray because I'm so close to finishing it. I'll have like about right up to here. Like right here that I want to use up so uh, it's the Prime and Fine Multi Talent Fixing Spray. I saw Taylor Wynn mention about this spray. I think it was the purple bottle she mentioned and I got it. I really don't ha I don't really find like I think this spray is okay but I don't think it's life changing but I want to just use it up because I almost have it gone. Like I said I have like about that much. I do want to use a lip gloss. I got this in Ipsy. It's from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's in the shade, what's it called? Moon Jelly. And I got it from Ipsy like I said, but this is really pretty. It looks like it's white, but like when you shift it, it looks kind of pink, but it has like blue and like pink sparkles when you look close into it. It's really cool. I know you can't really tell it's not the best lighting. Um that's just my hand cream. Um the concealer I want to use is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm in the shade light 1.25 Affogato. I really love this concealer. If whenever I use this up, I'll probably want to try the vanilla shade to see what that is like. But this is like my favorite high-end one so far. I just got the mini version because I wasn't sure if I'd like it or not. So I think I almost got just like I'm getting there. I might want to scrape, start scraping. This is like a concealer I want to start panning. I think I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. And I want to use my L'Oreal gel liner. I think this is the only gel liner I have from L'Oreal. This is like black. It's blackest black is the shade. Um, and then this is the other brow product I want to use because like, I want to use this up. I think I almost have this gone. It's this um, Benefit Gimme Brow Gel. And the sh shade number three, and I just, I'm almost convinced I used this up. Ah, uh, I've been saying it a lot in this video, but I'm just saying, it's like right here. So hopefully that's almost gone. Now, lipsticks. Well, I really like this sh little mini Charlotte Tilbury lipstick I have. I like the way I look in it. It's the pillow talk shade. And this is more like a realistic size because I don't I hardly ever wear lipstick. I couldn't imagine me finishing a lipstick. It's this pretty shade right here. And it really looks gorgeous on me. Right here. Charlotte Tilbury. Which I like to try more from her. I only have her lipstick. That's all I have so far. I was thinking about trying her bronzer and her highlighter. Those glow wands seem like they are nice. I might want to try my Dose of Colors liquid lipstick. It's in the shade Date Night. And it's this really deep red. You could swatch it if you want to see a little tiny swatch. It's really liquidy. But that's what it looks like right here. I'm going to take these two out. Not these ones. Um, This is hot pink. I might keep these ones here. I have MAC Ruby Roo. Which is a shade here. And I'll swatch it. It's like right here. This was the Dose of Colors one earlier. And then this is the MAC one. 
And then the other two I'm keeping in here are the Kylie Jenner. What's this? Her matte lipstick and birthday behavior. Let's see if I can swatch it up above there. And let me swatch the other one first. And then this other one is from Bella and Argent. I don't know what the shade name is, but it's a pretty nude shade. This is the Kylie one, and then this is the Bell and Argent one. So those ones are staying, and then I think we're almost done. I just gotta get bronzer, blush, highlight. Ooh. Ugh, hopefully I'm not scuffing this up. I don't have many bronzers, as much as I love bronzer, I don't have very many of them. But I'm gonna choose this Ifer one, that's the shade Americano. And I got this in one of my Ipsy bags. I think it was in March. And there's a like a dent in here. I don't know if you can see it. So you got like a little ring here. Like I can, I'm pushing it on and I can feel the bottom of it. I really love this bronzer and I want to pan this so bad. So that's what I'm going to use for bronzer. And this is like my highlight slash blush drawer. Whatever I can fit in here. I ran out of room for highlighters and stuff, so that's why the other highlighters and stuff was in here. Because I ran out of room here. And I didn't want to put it in the other drawer because I kind of would like to have that for bronzers. Because I don't know if like I would get any more bronzers like an Ipsy or anything. And I wanted to have their own little drawer specifically. Or if I got tempted to want to try a certain bronzer. I'd have room for it. No. I want to try for blush. This Hourglass Blush and Diffused Heat. That's the shade. It's right here. It's a really pretty shade. And I've worn it before. Swirl around. It's just very light pink here. It's really pretty. Ouch. And I want to try one more blush. Pick one more blush. Which I think is going to be the Kaleido Cosmetics. Uh, blush. It's in the shade. It's their skin blush in the shade Prima Donna. I got this in Ipsy and I really like it. And this is what the shade is. And it's really pretty. And it has like a shimmery like a shimmer glow to it. Like a very pretty pinky peach. And I love that. I really want to use this one I got from Mipsy. It's the Real Her Confidence in My Glow Highlighter. And it looks like this. In the pan. And you can see that shimmer. So that's the other highlighter I will use. So I got two highlighters. Okay, and this is like the last acrylic thing I have. Not a great idea to use this, but I have no other way to st like stand this up. I have two other bronzer blush dupes that I got in my Ipsy's. I actually forgot I had those down the bottom. I had no other room to put them at the time, so I put them in here. So there you go. I got some. Eh, something that grabs my attention. I do want to try my Kylie Shimmer Eye Glaze. It's in the shade Good at Being a Naughty. It was from her holiday collection last year. And it's just like really pretty red. So I want to use that more. So I'll choose that. And then I'm just going to leave these other ones here. And then I'm not going to choose anything for this here. Well, that's it. Uh, I'm going to go and put everything away and then I'll lay out everything and you can see what all I have. Okay, so. I got most of my stuff put away. I got them organized. What I picked. So, and here I have like the bronzer, my blush, the, uh, the cream blush and highlighter. Here I have the Kylie Glaze, my powder, the other, the um, Kaleido brush, and 
the real hair highlighter in this one. I fit it into this drawer. And on top of that, acrylic jar is this here. And if I don't drop everything again, I have my my spray, my primers, my lot gel liner, um, eye primer, brow gel, my concealer, foundation, brow, lip, eyeliner, pencils are back here. Look right here. Um right here we have the mascaras. Clear brow gel, lip products, the liquid eyeshadow is back here, and then I have my hand lotion. And then these are like the lip products that I picked. So that's going to go on top of it. And then I'm just going to store the eyeshadow palettes, the second shelf of my vanity over here. So, so those, are, um, those are the products that I'll be using for the month of January. And I will do another one when February comes. We will show up my stash again. I'll first tell you what I thought of the products. Um, my thought process there. And then we'll go and shop my stash again and then choose new products for February. So, I like to keep this kind of a routine and see how much of my makeup that I can use up. And I thought these are kind of fun videos and I thought maybe you would also enjoy them too. So yeah, let me know what you think down below in the comment section. If you like these types of videos, please give it a like. Comment down below what you thought and, and if you are new here, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe to my channel. We really love having you as part of my family. And I will see you all again next time everybody. Um, bye!